What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I bring you a very affordable wireless CCTV camera for your home. I saw this device on Amazon and after reading what it could do, I had to pick one up and see what it's all about. Now this is the Wi-Fi Bullet HD camera by Freddy. You can pick this up right now for around the $50 mark and it's quite amazing what this camera is capable of. You have 1080p video, built-in Wi-Fi, infrared night vision, motion detection with alerts, IP67 waterproof, 185 degree wide angle lens, Wi-Fi remote viewing and lots more. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual. You even got a 24 hour video surveillance sticker which you can put in the inside of your window. You got an adhesive sticker here for the actual camera. A UK power adapter. You got some screws and fixtures in here. A Wi-Fi antenna for the camera. And last but not least, the camera itself. On the end of the camera, you have two connections. One is for your power, and the other one is for an optional network LAN connection. Also, we have the Wi-Fi antenna, which simply screws on like so. So the Wi-Fi antenna is installed. You have a mount which has four screw connections and of course all the screws and fixtures are included. You would simply screw that into the wall on the outside wherever you want this installed. You can set this at the correct angle you wish and then basically tighten it from there. The camera itself is made completely from metal in a white finish and it feels very premium and solid. This is a complete waterproof camera. On the front you have a 185 degree wide angle lens. You also have your infrared sensors for night vision. So this camera can record 1080p videos at 25 frames per second. You also have motion detection with alerts. So this is compatible with Android, iOS, Windows, Mac. So you could set this up on multiple devices. This is effectively a complete CCTV wireless security system. It comes with everything you need. It's the full setup. You don't need to purchase anything additionally. So I'm going to get this camera hooked up and give you guys an idea of what the quality is like. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can get set up. So I've got the instruction manual here. It looks quite easy to set up, but the problem is the instructions are in German. What I'm going to do is quickly show you guys how you can set this up as well. So you need to first of all insert a memory card. So on the camera, you've got a little box with two screws. Open that up first. Okay. And you'll see a compartment there for your micro SD card. I'm using a standard 16 GB micro SD card, nothing fancy, but you can use up to 128 gigs in here, which is good to know. There is also a tiny switch on the left, if you can see it there. Um, I've got no idea what that switch is for, so we will experiment later on. But we've got the memory card installed. Now you can just close it. So that's it, memory card installed. Next step is to install the app. Go into the Play Store and type in VR Cam, and you will see this app. It's called VR Camera V Cam. I'll open it up. This is what the app looks like. Install it, which I already have, and open it. What you want to do first of all is tap the plus sign to add a device. So we click tap. You've got two choices there. So I'm just going to go for the first option. And it's going to search. It's already found something here. So if we click on that, it's going to now ask you for your Wi-Fi password. So enter that in. I'm going to do that now. So I've entered my password. I'm going to press next. Please wait while the device is being configured. Connection is successful and the network is being configured. I just want to show you guys how simple this is. The process so far has been very easy. Device added. Confirm. There you go. So it's preparing. So it says my device one, which means you can buy multiple cameras and you'll be able to control multiple cameras with this one app, which is quite nice. So it says online if I click on it. So it automatically has started to pan. If I put it in full screen, so that's how full screen looks. And the camera just auto pans, which is quite nice. I'll show you the options here. You got all of these options. You got record, hold to talk, and capture. So you got the camera here. I've turned auto cruise off. If you select the screen, you can actually pan the camera with your finger. So you can view any angle you like. Now, if we click on record, so we are now recording video. So this is recording. I'll just pan the camera a little to see what it looks like. So this is recording. I'll stop recording now. So these are the settings. You can change the device name, mode, network config, audio frequency. You can set up motion detection. You can format the memory card here. 
So this is quite a feature packed camera. There's a lot you can do on this. Okay, so I hope that gave you an idea on how to actually record with this camera. So we've set the camera up. We've done some recordings. Now I want to show you how you can access those recordings. So you open up the app. At the bottom, you have demo and me. Click on me. You've got a whole bunch of settings there, but what we're looking at is local records. And here we go. These are all the images and videos we've taken with this camera. So if I go to videos first and just click on the last one we played, if I just put it in full screen, and there you go, you've got full 1080p video recording. So if you want to activate motion capturing, all you need to do is click on schedule video and select the date and time that you want motion capturing to begin. I want to give you another example of what this will look like in a commercial place. So if we click on this, we are accessing a camera just like this somewhere in China. Um, and you can see this is how it looks. So we can zoom in. And we can control this camera right now and we can have a look at the whole office. This is live. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And the camera is basically, there's someone sitting there, you can see working and you can zoom right back out. So it gives you a very nice 3D style image. Come back out, I'll give you another example. So this is a small shop. It looks like an electronic mobile shop or something like that. You can see a guy playing with his phone. There seems to be a customer there sitting there. You can zoom right in on what's going on the other side of the store. And this is live, guys. So I have to say, I love the control you have over the camera. Now the camera, you can see, is just facing downwards. But you have a great option of zooming in and controlling the different areas. So... An amazing camera, I have to say. I'm accessing this camera from the UK. Um, and as you can see, it's doing a great job. You can see people coming in and out of the store. So you could have this set up in your house exactly the same way. And you'll be able to access it while you're at work. So I'm in the UK and I'm able to access this live feed from China. And as you can see, it is really smooth and great quality. And another cool thing about this setup is right now I could record this video. So I can hit record. And I'm recording this, what's going on right now in this store. I can record it. I can snap photos. So it gives you a lot of control. Now, if you had this set up in your home, again, you can record. But you don't want the world accessing your data. So what you can do is set a password up on your camera. So if you go back, if I quit this demo, go back to my devices. This is my camera here. It is upside down. Let me turn it the right way around. So this is my camera here right now. And if you go to settings and scroll to the bottom, you can set a username and password. So it can only be accessed by you completely privately. Um, but the best part is you can access it from anywhere. So I quickly set the camera up at the ground floor of this house. And as you can see, the image quality looks great. If I put it into full screen, look at that. That is amazing. So you can set this up in your house in any room you like. Another awesome feature is you can access the camera from multiple devices at the same time. Right now I'm connected to the camera with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and my iPad. So multiple devices can connect at the same time. Um, for it to work, all you need to do is add the device, add network device, search by network, and it will just be detected automatically. You click on that, click add, and then it will just appear at the top. If you have set a password, it will ask you to enter the password in. And then when you click on the camera, you immediately connect it. So I'm taking some video right now in the dark. It's pitch black in this room right now. And this is what the recording looks like. You've got a very nice infrared night vision. So there you have it, guys. That was the Wi-Fi Bullet HD camera by Freddy. Model number VR901. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So this camera feels durable. It's IP65 waterproof, and I personally found it quite easy to set up. The camera can capture clear videos and photos, and night vision was also very good. You can control this camera from any device, be it iPhone, Android, PC, or Mac. And you can control it from multiple devices at the same time. You can also buy multiple cameras and control all of them from one app. The app is excellent, has a great interface, and lots of options to play with. Now on to the cons. The instructions were in German, so that was not very helpful to begin with. However, I did find the English instructions online, and I'll link it in the description box below in case you guys need it.
Thereafter, setting up was very easy and user-friendly, and I was connected to the camera within minutes. The actual quality of the recordings do not look like 1080p, it's more like 720p, but more importantly, the quality was clear, and as a security camera, it does a very good job. Bottom line, for the price, this is a very good Wi-Fi CCTV camera, which works very well both indoors and outdoors. It's durable, has night vision, and it's IP65 waterproof. You can pick this up for only $51 in the US, or £43 in the US. UK. That being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out and if you like it, you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this camera, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.